The best orchard always, I think, faces the southeast because the sun in the morning dries them out. Very few people have apples. I don't know if anybody's got 10 apple trees. I have 500 with 100 varieties. This is the most extensive apple orchard in the whole state of Mississippi. As you can see, as we look down the orchard, there's all different varieties and all different sizes and types. These two apples are called the Riley apple. Charles Riley planted the seed. They're not a real big apple, but you can see by the tree, there's you know, plenty of them. These two apples here, I call them the uh, bean apple. They were brought from Alabama and they've been in Itawamba County ever since 1880. I don't know what this is, but uh, looks like a good apple to me. Look at it, that is a good apple. My daddy was an expert grafter, did a lot of grafting for Mississippi State, some seminars, and he taught me how. What we have here is an apple tree that Mr. Russell grafted just earlier this year. We collect our sign wood, and then we'll cut it into pieces about six inches long, and it has three buds on it. And then we insert this graft into our rootstock as this, and we let it take its union and join together, and then it will take off and grow as this one has done here. Most all of the apples that are here at Mr. Russell's place are very old apples, and a lot of them aren't sold at your local stores. You have to go to private growers that are growing these older, heirloom varieties. A lot of times I, I, I'll get an apple just because I know it's old. There's only about 20 varieties you can buy at the store. The Red Delicious, what's the one, Honey Crisp. It tastes good, but uh, you can't grow it around here. Pink Lady, you can't grow. But there's so many different kind of apples. Uh, Kynard and Keepsake and Buckingham. One of the most famous ones he has here is called the Cauley Apple. This tree here is a Cauley Apple. They're a big apple, and it came from a fellow named Cawley down at Grenada, Mississippi. We grow Cawley at our research station that we took from cuttings here, and they also do very well in Tupelo. It has survived back as the very early 1900s. This is a Virginia wine sap. So you don't find many prettier trees. It's a wine sap, but a redder color to it. Some of the other ones are even survived back into the 1800s in this part of the state. Okay, this is the oldest apple right here. It's a Roxbury, but it's a real old apple and has a real thick coat on it. Some of the reasons why people might want to graft a tree is that they are trying to carry on their family trees. Some of these that he has got cuttings of and he's growing, he's the only person in, in really in Mississippi that's even growing those. And so he is carrying on the legacy and carrying on the heritage of these plants by continuing them. Uh, you know, I'm in it to learn and enjoy myself, and I like to grow stuff. <laughs>